Hey, what's up? This is Dan from ECUMods.com, also known as ESCO. Uh, the whole purpose of this video is to educate people so they can know the difference between a socketed ECU, a virgin one, and uh, in other words, one that hasn't been modified, and a socketed one, one that has been modified and allows you to put a chip in it. Not only that, we also want to kind of show you the differences between a VTEC enabled ECU and an ECU that does not have VTEC. Because uh, lately we've been getting a couple ECUs with uh, the P28 or P72, meaning ECU type uh, cases on them, but not being VTEC capable. So, big long story short, here it is. We removed the screws. The screws that go on the ECU, you'll find five of them along the top, and they look something like this here. Um, upon removing the, the lid, it's important to remember a couple things. First off, that this is an electronic system, so therefore it is static sensitive. And uh, so when you start touching the surfaces, be careful. Make sure you're wearing ESD gloves or not rubber ones, not plastic ones or anything like that. Make sure you're not on carpet. Uh, concrete is preferred and uh, also make sure that uh, you handle it with care as well. Uh, other than that, this is a Virgin P72. Now, uh, the reason why I'm showing you this one first is because you want to pay attention to this. You want to make sure that this component is present. This is what actually controls the VTEC. So, anyway, uh, if you notice this one, there's no chip present in this location here. So it tells you that this system has not been modified whatsoever. So this is a, a Virgin P72, which is found in the GSR. Now switching it up, this is a P06. If you notice, the component is not present, the one that I showed earlier. So therefore, this ECU is non VTEC capable. You'll find this common on some PO8, well, the PO8s, on PO6s, PO5s, and also on the LS computer, which is a P75. If you notice also, there's nothing, you know, present here. This chip is not present, there's no socket or anything like that, therefore it's a virgin system. This is from a P75, which is an LS. Now, this board here is not a Honda board, so don't get confused. This is simply a knock sensor board, or a knock board as we call it. It's a daughter board that's attached to the motherboard of the system, and it basically detects knock within the engine. This is found on JDM P30 ECUs, P72 ECUs, and it's also found P61s, and a couple other variants. This is a modified ECU. This ECU has a knock sensor present, or knock board, which reads the knock sensor. It's also a P72, which is from a GSR. And if you notice, this is present, therefore it's VTEC capable. In addition, you notice the socket for the chipping. This is an ECU that's been modified in order to accept any chips. On handling the chips, you want to make sure that you handle them from top to bottom. Make sure you don't handle it from the pins, and the reason why is these are very static sensitive and can be damaged. Also, you'll notice on this chip, and any chip that you receive, it has a notch. This notch gives you orientation on installation of the chip itself. What you want to do is look at this gray section and make sure that you place the chip with the notch pointing the gray section or towards the gray section. Make sure you're careful not to harm any of the pins, that it actually inserts correctly into all the holes and goes into place. On removing the chip, you can use a tool such as this and it doesn't harm the pins or the leads of the, the chip. So just remember, when handling these systems, be careful not to damage any of the components physically by moving them with your hands. And also, be sure to double check that your system is, is ready. If your system is socketed, you can order a base map, a chip, a custom chip or whatever from our website. Or you can call us up at 832-798-0000. Our website is www.ecumods.com. 
If you need your ECU modified, you can also send it to us and we'll upgrade it for you. In addition to this, we also do perform repairs on the ECUs, all different types and variants. If you do contact us, please be sure to include your telephone number, address, and other information pertinent to your system. Include details such as make, model of your vehicle, uh, that way we can determine if you need a jumper harness or anything like that or any additional equipment. Also any additional modifications that you made to your particular vehicle. Thanks. Get it together, keep pushing. So start your strong. You got the moves of that scene. Seems like you are someone who likes to get down, so do it.